हेलो एवरीवन आई होप एवरीथिंग इज ग्रेट सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस फ्यू ऑफ द इनपुट एट्रीब्यूट्स व्हिच आर द वैल्यू रीड ओनली डिसेबल एंड साइज टुडे वी जस्ट कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑन सेम टॉपिक व्हिच इज द इनपुट एट्रीब्यूट्स सो लेट्स डिस्कस सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस वी कैन हैंडल द साइज ऑफ द इनपुट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स राइट विद using the size attribute so same way we have another attribute which is the max length attribute let me capitalize the first letter okay so max length attribute specifies the maximum number of characters allowed in an input field so what is the meaning of this so if i apply the max length attribute to this name field then and give the value to three character then user can only enter the three character characters in this input and after that uh, user cannot able to input the more numbers right so let's uh, discuss this and easily apply this thing on the name attribute so now i can enter as much as i want in this character you can see what i did now i apply the max length attribute and give the value let me give the five characters save this go to browser refresh initial value is x y z after that i give the let me give the more 1 2 3 4 5 and only 1 2 is enter after that user cannot enter any character inside this field so this way you can restrict user to enter a limited number of characters in the input field now these number of characters can be any character if user want to enter at the rate hash and after the five characters user cannot enter the more character so this is the max length attribute and this attribute can be applied in text or password search url all of the input types next attribute is the min and max attribute min and max attribute so by these attributes we can specify the minimum and maximum value of the input field not the maximum or minimum character we can give the minimum and maximum value now as we discuss the value so this input attribute can be specified on the number range date date time locale month time and week <clears throat> so let's discuss this attribute i quickly copy these two lines and now we are discuss the min and max what i did min and max copy this thing and paste into the id change the label min and max and here i change to text right and remove this size attribute save this go to here refresh this new input field is add now user can enter anything in the text but as we want to apply the min and max let me change the input type from text to number save this file go to browser and refresh now user can enter 1 2 3 4 any number he can increase he can 
decrease this thing. right now let me add the minimum so i add the min to 10 save this thing go to browser refresh by default it does not have any value and if i tap on this it start with the 10 value and increase from 10 and if i decrease it goes to 10 and not below 10 yes user can manually enter the value below 10 but when user submit this form we see this value value must be greater than or equal to 10 this message so the form is not valid form until and unless we enter the value 10 or more than 10. same way we can specify the max attribute let me add the max attribute and with the value let's assume 20. go to here refresh now as user can enter only two characters number so the width of this input is auto adjusted if i start from here 10 11 12 13 14 20 and after this user cannot increase the value and also he cannot decrease the value below 10 and also he cannot increase the value about 20 but yes user can manually enter let me add 30 but again if user want to submit this form he can see this message value must be less than or equal to 20. so by use of these attributes we can set a limit for input how much user can enter into this into the input field same thing we can apply for the date field as well so let me add the input type date okay and inside date what we did we give the maximum value let me give the maximum value and the format is specified so current year is like 2022 and we give the month december and 31 let's save this go to browser refresh the state field is added here if i tap on here so you can see user can select these values but if i go to december and select the value after december it does not allow us so user cannot select the january 2023 and even he cannot select the value from here if i what i did i give the month 12 and give the date to 50. save this refresh now user can select maximum up to 15 december 2022 after that he cannot select the value again he can i think select the value from this to 22 december 2023 okay and if you just submit this form then this will not allow user to submit the form same way value must be 15 december 2022 or earlier same way we can select the minimum so let's add the minimum value uh, 2022 month first month and date is let assume 20 so it's 20 january 2022 save this go to here press so now if i open this user can select okay 
let me add zero here okay now so this will be the correct format it should be the in the format yyy mm and dd format so now if i try to select below 20 we cannot do this you can see the 19th january 18th and below this all the dates are disabled even user cannot move to back like uh, december 2021 he cannot move back right he can select the available date again he can change this with the uh, let me change the value uh, let's 12 january and if you will submit the form he can see the message that you need to submit the value more than 20 january right form is not submitted as you can see okay so this way you can give the limit for the date field as well right so this is the min and max attribute of the input type let's move to the next attribute which is the multiple attribute So as the name gives the reference, multiple is basically allow user to select multiple values. But this attribute works only for the file and for the email input types. Let's <coughs> try to use this. I add the label for and let me give the multiple for multiple multiple and add the input type file okay by default when we go to here refresh this no file chosen okay i add the to br tag here so that my submit button will be next line okay if i choose file from here we can select the one file only at a time right let me select this so this way user can select the single file but if i apply the multiple attribute here save this now user can select the multiple value so this open my option and let me select tree.png and for selecting the second file you need to press the control and then click on the second one this will not work for the default input type file let me select third one okay open and you can see three files are selected here so this way you can allow user to select these three files and when you hover on this like horse.png pix.jpg tree.png these three files are selected here same way uh, you can add the input type email email and give the attribute multiple and this way you can give the comma separated email let's use abc at the rate gmail.com comma second this way this way you can give the multiple values and whenever user submit this form these multiple emails are submitted with this form right so today we will discuss these three attributes which are the max length 
min and max and multiple attributes and by these inputs you can again customize the input types like for uh, min and max you can limit the input you can uh, limit the input for uh, like for the number for date time week so that user can select only a specific number which is described in the min and max attribute by multiple you can select multiple values for files and email and for max length attribute when you apply this you can set the maximum length of characters user can enter inside the input field so for this video that's all in next video we learn some more attributes if you have any question till now you can comment on this video i definitely provide the answer and if you like this video then like share and subscribe our channel for now that's all goodbye